Chag Sameach. On Pesach, we talk about freedom. We eat the bread of freedom, the matzah. Every bite is something which can bring us closer to fulfilling our potential, to being liberated. We talk about leaving the house of slavery, the house of bondage of Egypt. And one well-known translation or interpretation of the name for Egypt of Mitzrayim is Mitzarim, the narrow places. It's the place of physical constriction where B'nai Israel, where the children of Israel were being kept as slaves. They couldn't choose how they were going to be using their days, but also it represents the place of narrowness of thought, where we are not thinking about being free. Now, Yisrael, Israel, that's the place we're going to, and, uh, and Israel is the place of liberation. Later on in the Torah, in the Bible, it talks about how the Jews are Am Kshe Oref, a stiff-necked people. Am Kshe Oref. Now, the Hebrew word for neck is Oref, and if you rearrange the letters, you get Paro or Pharaoh. So it's like a people of Pharaoh, a people of literally restriction. However, if you move your neck in different directions, if you look up, you can see what's above you. Tisa'inai, you can raise your eyes. And my challenge to you is this is where are you being stiff-necked? Where is Egypt, Mitzrayim, a narrowness coming in or, or the Pharaoh within ourselves that's keeping you back? Where is one area that you can be more free in your life? It could be, how do I want to spend my days? How do I want to do an artistic project, a relationship? What's something you're looking for? Work-wise or career-wise, what's something you would like to achieve? And spiritually, how can you be free, spiritually connect to God? That's the challenge. Chag Kasha for Sameach. Have a wonderful Pesach.